All right, I am at Virginia International Raceway today, and I'm here with Auto Week Magazine to check out the new BMW 4 Series. Now, a lot of you normally tune into my channel for firearms and personal defense information, but every once in a while we do sneak some vehicle stuff in there. You've seen me do desert racing. You've seen me talk about the tour truck, the off-road capabilities. Today we are on-road capabilities. I'm a big BMW enthusiast, and uh, this new 4 Series replaces the old 3 Series two-door. So this is a brand new thing for BMW. These are performance cars, and we're looking forward to taking them out on the street, uh, and we're actually going to then take them out on the track here at Virginia National Raceway. I get to be a student, so uh, I get to uh, learn a little bit more about uh, performance driving, take some pointers from the drivers, um, we're do some follow and lead uh, out there on the actual track, plus some segmented performance driving, and take a look at how we can push this car to its limits and take advantage of everything that BMW has put into it. So we're here at uh, Virginia International Raceway. Uh, Auto Week and BMW have partnered together to do a ride and drive event featuring the new BMW 4 Series. Uh, we have both the 428i and the 435i here. And we've got uh, eight members of the Auto Week Advisory Board participating and uh, doing uh, time on the street as well, on the as well as on the track here. I think the coolest thing about the advisor, uh, Auto Week Advisory Board is that uh, these are our core uh, subscribers, if you will, that we can really call on to get their opinions and uh, their outtakes on uh, new vehicle launches and uh, actually have them participate in events like this one with BMW. All right, we haven't even started the engine yet. This is the 428i, the new 4 Series, and this is a uh, dark blue one. It's got a lot of chrome on it. I think it's like the luxury version one. So not the M Sport one that I'll probably want, or the M4 maybe eventually, but I've got a partner. Say hi. Hi. He's actually a driver. He drives all the time. He's like a race car driver. We got cameras. We got camera guy. Hi. And right, sooner or later, the car going to, uh, The car is full of cameras, and the satellite radio knows. How odd is that? Now, it'll take voice input, and can I write? Oh, look, check that out. Hey, there you, you go. Can, we can write. That is fire. awesome. Yeah, that is so cool. So you can write numbers. Six, whoops. Yeah, it's 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 sort of figuring out what I'm doing. Can I back up and you delete? Do that again. That's cool. So, uh, let's see. One, two. Big three. question: Are you left-handed? I'm not left-handed. Okay, so it's so even better. That's even better. Yeah, it's even better. And just real-time indicator of horsepower. Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Apparently, we only need 80 horsepower. Oh, and I'm just cruising now. Check that out. It's pretty doggone special to get to drive these cars. Uh, I've got friends at the Performance Center that are they've been sending me texts and emails all day today. <laughs> You're doing what? You get to drive what? <laughs> so, um, so it's pretty cool to get to drive the car. Uh, and uh, I just did a, a hot lap with that uh, that 428 uh, M Sport car, and that was a blast. All right, just went on the first drive with the new 4 Series. This was the 428i, and of course it's a BMW, so it feels very, very comfortable, very, very solid on the road. The biggest difference was switching from the economy mode into the sport mode and then the sport plus mode. We really couldn't tell the difference on the suspension, but absolutely changes the way the car shifts. These are all automatics, but they all do have the uh, paddles if you want to shift that way into the automatic shifter mode. But it is just cool to drive around in a brand new car. Uh, this is the X-Drive model. If you aren't familiar with the BMWs, the X-Drive is the all-wheel drive version. And now we're going to get into this 435i, which has a really awesome uh, color pattern and a bigger engine. So very excited about that. All right, so we know that BMW cars, luxury, very classy cars. Check this out. When I close the door, I get handed the seatbelt. Kind of out of control. Maybe a little bit over the top. I think I would probably break that within a week. There's a magic button in here underneath the fun button, the sport mode button, that looks like a video camera. It actually turns on the video cameras, which is cool. So this one, as you can see on the left, is looking straight out over there out of the quarter panel over at that truck. And this one on the right is looking over here. And what it lets you know is you are parked right in the center of the space, or obviously if you're trying to get into a garage, get in and out between vehicles, the rest of the vehicles in the fleet, uh, that camera option is pretty cool.
Uh, so when I've been over in Europe, uh, this is kind of the newest, coolest thing, the auto start, auto off, and that's what that little off button is with the circle with the A on it. Get used to it, because it's obviously uh, coming to America. The auto stop start. We are at a red light, and the car has shut itself down. And it's, uh, you know, we used to grow up uh, with the idea that the starting the car was the worst thing you could do. You had a cool theory on that. What do you, what do you think it was? I think it's because of the um, uh, okay, synthetic oils. Yeah. The so the synthetic oils, which actually have a better ability to cling to the metal parts. Okay, here we go. When I take my foot off the brake, the car should start itself. Here we go. And it did. Instantly. It, and instantly, and we're ready to go. Ready to go. That is awesome. So that's pretty cool. So we're not worried about the wear on the uh, parts as much as we're worried about the wear on the uh, atmosphere. All right, just did the first drive with the 435i. That's the one over my right shoulder there. This one up here is the M Sport Package 428i, and that's another one that I hope to be able to drive later. That one has bigger brakes and some other handling issues, as well as a different interior. Now, the interior of these cars is amazing. It's really just absolutely perfect. It's all set up for the driver, which I like. I've never really understood why there's equal billing to the radio, to the controls, to everything else, to the driver and the passenger. I think it's much cooler to have it all accented over towards the driver, so these cars definitely go out of their way to do that. It's a driver's car. And now it's just a matter of Get as precise here as I can. The turn in here is right at, the, right at this access road, that's the orange cone. And right on this apex, if I touch the bottom of that concrete curving spine, you just want to climb across it. Naturally, no track time is going to be complete without actually hearing some tire squeal. And at this point, before they cut us loose to actually try the track out uh, full speed and just kind of follow and lead with each other, we're doing some performance evaluation of the cars themselves. So there's three stations. This one behind me is obviously the slalom station. I went through it with one of the standard 328Is. In fact, I think it might be that one. That's the one I went through it with. It sounds like he did the same thing I did and left it in manual mode and it was kind of revving out there at uh, first gear. Second time through, I did a little bit better and was a little more aggressive and let the car shift for me. This guy is being a little more aggressive. And it sounds like he might have clipped one of the cones. The other station was a threshold braking station and then there was another one for actually steering and learning to control the car under threshold braking. Uh, let that ABS kick in. Yeah, compromising first. So that's what you have to do there. You gotta give up a little bit of entry and be disciplined on the entry so that we gain that exit because the exit is where the dividends are. Paid, I think like right? I get so that's what Todd's going to be coaching you on. Then I'm going to take you around the rest of the track and we're going to just turn the volume knob up one click. All right, that's all. So we increase our entry speeds a little bit um, and our exit speeds a little bit. All right, I'm helmeted it up. That means this is the open lap time. So this is pretty cool. Lead follow. They're not really leaving us out here on our own. We're not really racing, but uh, they promise that we do get to turn the speed up. So looking forward to this. It'll be very, very cool. And uh, I'll try to turn the camera around and get some of it out there as well. Guys, when we come out of the pit lane, we're going to stay to the driver's right as we pit out just proper racetrack etiquette. As Jay was saying, what I'm looking for, I'm watching you guys, and I'm looking for you guys to be nice and tidy, and clean, and online. If you're online, you're getting the car right next to your apexes. We will just continue to go fast. But for now, our first opening lap here is a bit of a warm-up lap. And we're just connecting all these dots. Bring the cars right down to those apexes. So first three cars, first three cars are about four or five feet off the apex. Last car was closer. I want to see you guys about four or five inches at the most off that apex. There you go. Good. Good job, guys. Auto week's paid for this whole racetrack. You guys should be using the whole racetrack. part with a little bit of speed so we got number boards on the left I'm gonna start breaking around that three marker carrying some brakes up the hill right on the apex but 
Looking good, guys. Beautiful sight. Everybody online, a bunch of BMW 4 Series making through. Turn in the wheel till we get to that apex. If you're wide, just keep turning. So as you come out of this right-hander here, right turn signal goes on, so that lead car, you can pull over to driver's right. All right, I have finished up uh, all my track time here at the Auto Week BMW 4 Series uh, pre-release event. And uh, here come the cars getting ready to come down the track, doing exactly what I was just doing, and it is an awesome car. I don't know if one of those will be in my garage at any point in the future, but it certainly was cool to get to drive them uh, long before anybody else is going to get to drive them uh, in the States. As far as uh, anybody who's going to be an owner, they're talking about them coming in in 30 to 60 days and actually being available. Um, very cool car. The 435i is definitely the one that you want as far as power goes, but the other ones are impressive as well. Great handling, great cars, not too bad. Uh, really be surprised uh, BMW that's what they do and uh, this car is very cool I, I was kind of skeptical on the whole changing from 3 series 2 door to a special edition of the 4 series um, but uh, talking to the engineers and understanding exactly why they did this and how this is much more than just a 2 door version uh, of the 4 door 3 series uh, it, now it makes a lot of sense so the 3 series is your compact sedan and this is your 2 door sports car Yeah. 